All right, so we're going to go over some of the plumbing on the IVC tanks and how I decided to do it on my system. So we kept the two inch ball valve here to be able to clean out a heavy solids deposit out of the tank or if we need to do a complete washout. Here is a one inch banjo fitting. Uh, took a hole saw and drilled through the tank here. On the inside, we put a one inch aquarium screen. It screws into the inside of that banjo fitting. The banjo fitting I got is threaded female on both sides, so don't get the slip fitting. We kept the, the nut to seal the banjo fitting on the outside of the tank here, so that way if we do develop a leak, we don't have to go inside and underwater in order to tighten it up. And that is common. You're, it's going to develop leaks over time. It's just part of it. There's a rubber gasket on the inside and the outside. Here is a threaded male one inch going into that uh, banjo fitting. We got an elbow. We got a one inch ball valve here where we can quarantine the tank or shut it down if we want to continue to pump out of the other three tanks in this particular system. We can shut down this one. We're still pumping out of three and we can drop the level in this to make harvesting the fish easier or if we need to do a complete clean out, whatever the case may be. Then we go into a two inch valve or a two inch pipe here that runs the full length and ties all these tanks together. When the valve here is open on all four tanks, the levels are gonna moderate between the two. They're gonna level out. So if you decide to shut off the valve here, you need to remember to shut off the return coming in from the, from the drainage from the grow beds and your duct buckets or whatever else you have in the system. So it follows this two inch and ties all of these in until it goes out of the building and then we will plumb in the pumps and the filter on the outside of the building because they're going to be pressurized and we're going to have water flowing through them constantly. We don't have to worry about the cold and the climate so much um, where the water is going to be moving. So hopefully it answers any questions. If you have anything else, please put them in the comment box below and I will either make another video to answer those questions or I will answer them in the comments if it's something I can do. All right. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.